Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janus, creator of Pinoy Tech Dad. Today we're going to be checking out the Asus Zephyrus G14S. A lot of you have been requesting that I do a review on this and thankfully Asus sent us a review unit. So I'll be able to tell you all about this laptop as compared to the Zephyrus G15 that I previously reviewed. For this video, I'm just going to be doing a very quick unboxing and then I'm going to give you my initial impressions after using it for almost a week. And as you see, the one that we got is the highest end variant. So that means it comes with a free web camera. We do get an AMD Ryzen 9 4900 HS, and then we have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Max Q graphics processor, and then it's equipped with 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it also comes with a one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD. Now, as for the display, we have the 14 inch full HD 120 Hertz variant. And again, the rest of the specs are displayed on the screen. Now, as for the ports, we do get one USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C with display port 1.4 and power delivery. And then we also got a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C to USB 3.2 Gen 1 type A. And of course, an HDMI port, a 3.5 headphone and microphone combo jack, and a Kensington lock. And now that we got the specs out of the way, I'm sure you're excited to hear my initial impressions on the G14 as compared to the G15. But first, let's address the elephant in the room, the heating issue on the G14. And I have to be honest here, it really gets hot a lot. And I'll be showing you the temperature before playing games and while I'm playing games. And I was only able to test Dota 2 and Nino Kuni 2 so far, but the results are the same. I haven't done any tweaks to control the temperature yet. I just have the Zephyrus G14 on a cooling pad that doesn't seem to help that much in terms of cooling the G14. 
it gets uncomfortably hot where it matters. So if you're a gamer, you know that the WASD keys are where you put your hands most of the time and it does get warm in that portion. And I guess that's a trade-off that you get for getting a very slim profile laptop like this. Basically, you cram powerful components in a slim laptop like this. That means you're not gonna get too much airflow in this compared to the Zephyrus G15, which by the way, also gets hot a lot, but doesn't get hot where it matters in the WASD keys. But I'll be trying to disable the turbo boost on this to see if that helps in lowering down the temperature to be able to use this comfortably while gaming. That's gonna be in my full review, not here because I haven't done that yet. But yeah, so far, if you're gonna ask me which one I like better between the Zephyrus G15 and the Zephyrus G14, I'd say I'll go with the Zephyrus G15. As a content creator and a gamer, I think the Zephyrus G15 fits my needs. One, as a gamer, I like the fluidity of the 240Hz display on the Zephyrus G15 compared to the 120Hz on the G14. And while I don't have any color calibration tools with me right now, I can tell that the color reproduction on the Zephyrus G15 is way better than the color reproduction here on the G14. But that's not to say that the G14 has a bad display, it's just not as good as the G15s. And aside from that, I do miss the bigger screen on the G15, which means as a content creator, you have a bigger display so you can see more stuff when you're editing videos as compared to the smaller screen size on the G14. But if you're considering something that's really portable and something that you can bring anywhere you go without the hassle of it being too big or being too heavy, then I can definitely recommend the Zephyrus G14. Aside from the fact that it felt like I was playing on a heater, my overall experience with this was very good and I'm really looking forward to applying the registry tweak on this so that I can turn off the turbo boost and see if that would help lowering down the temperature while gaming on this. Yeah, but like I said, look forward to that in my full review. But if you can't wait for my full review and you're already excited to get your hands on the Zephyrus G14, check out the links in the description box. Anyway, that's gonna be it for my quick impressions on the Zephyrus G14. Let me know in the comment section what you thought and and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.